Audi pushes on into six-figure territory with this RSQ8, targeted at those who come in search of the ultimate high-performance luxury SUV. Its twin-turbo V8 puts out 600 PS, so this car is astonishingly rapid. But perhaps what's even more impressive is the way it can transmit its torque to the tarmac along a twisting road. Politically incorrect the RSQ8 may be, but it's still very desirable indeed. Let's start with that 4-litre twin-turbo V8 petrol engine, which here develops 600 PS, a little more than it does in the Porsche Cayenne Coupe Turbo, and a little less than it does in the Lamborghini Urus. It's enough to somehow convey this huge 2.3-ton SUV from rest to 62 miles an hour in just 3.8 seconds, and you need only around 10 seconds more to get to 125 miles an hour on the way to a maximum, where unrestricted and only for the very brave of 190 miles an hour. Drive is delivered via an 8-speed Tiptronic Auto gearbox to a Quattro four-wheel drive system that can apportion up to 80% of torque to the rear, though a 40-60 split front to rear is its more usual setting. And to manage it all, there's an active torque vectoring limited slip differential. Lots more has also gone on to help handle all that power. You get a wider track, 10 millimeters more at the front and five millimeters more at the rear for a squatter stance and there are bigger brakes of course and revised damper rates for the adaptive air suspension. Standard or optional depending on trim are two further features, a 48 volt anti-roll system and a four wheel steer setup that reduces cornering understeer and promotes the kind of turning ability you think would be impossible for a car of this size. There's the usual drive mode system and your favourite blend of attributes can be stored and summoned by pushing the provided RS button on the steering wheel, which has two settings, RS1, where perhaps you'd store your more laid back settings, and RS2, for when you want to select a more aggressive demeanour. There's plenty of pavement theatre here, as you'd expect from a coupe-style large sporting SUV, especially one this powerful. The sleek, sweeping profiles enhanced by widened arches, and depending on the spec level you choose, the wheels are either 22 or 23 inches in size. There's an imposing octagonal single frame front grille and HD matrix LED headlights surround it. Plus there are bespoke RS bumpers along with a bespoke RS front spoiler lip and rear diffuser insert. At the back there's the full width light strip which is characteristic of all high-end Audi models. Plus a set of RS dual branch tailpipes sit in a bespoke RS diffuser. At the wheel, the interior highlight lies with Audi's superb winged super sport seats, which are trimmed with diamond-stitched Valcona leather upholstery. As usual, in a large luxury Audi, the centre part of the fascia is made up of two large touchscreens with haptic and acoustic feedback. Unlike the SUV this model is based on, the Q7, this design can't offer a third seating row. But Audi insists that there's ample room for three people across the back seat, pointing out that the interior space exceeds that of direct competitors in almost all relevant dimensions. The luggage compartment holds 605 litres, which increases to 1,755 litres with the rear backrest folded down. Two golf bags can easily fit in diagonally. You won't be expecting this RSQ8 to be inexpensive to run. If that was at all an issue for you in buying a high performance Q8, you'd be more likely to consider the SQ8 model, though that's not that cheap to run either. Uh, with this RSQ8, you're looking at a WLTP rated combined consumption figure ranging between 20.0 and 20.5 miles to the gallon, and a WLTP CO2 emissions reading of between 320 and 314 grams per kilometer. It's hard not to admire what this RSQ8 can do. 
it would be astonishingly quick on a racetrack and fantastically fleet point to point on Twisting Country Road. Given the six figure asking price, I was a bit disappointed that key driving aids like four wheel steering and the 48 volt anti roll system don't come as standard. You'll need these to be able to experience everything this RSQ8 can really do. But when fully kitted out, this car can give you almost everything you get in a Lamborghini Urus for 40 to 50 thousand pounds less, which in turn makes it very special indeed.